Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome to the channel today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know it's all about the energy. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We are talking about the, what is it called? The Diffuser Information Governance Board. Well, we're growing here. We're close to 20,000 amazing people that are rocking and rolling and having some fun with tech, but also discussing some other ideas. We call this a community more on a channel. And I like to bring up this. We talked a little bit about Elon Musk and Twitter, and I like to think of myself as a critical thinker, somebody that likes to look at all information and then make my own personal decision. If you had to think of one thing for me, it would be a free thinker. I really believe that I like to read and get the information myself. So when I hear of a government agency starting to create the DHS I got to tell you, it scares the bejesus out of me. It really does. And we can talk about it in the comments, but here's my big issue with it, okay? As a grown adult who has had 52 years on this planet, almost 53, a lot of experience in aerospace for 13 years, running my own company for 17 years, traveling around the world and getting to meet all types of people, human beings have issues, okay? I'm going to tell you, they have major issues, all of us. If you don't have an issue, please stand up. We all do, right? So when it comes to somebody that is a, a supposed expert, how do we define that? You know, my, my life is really helping professional experts, right? I help connect them, I support them, and I educate them. So how do I help someone become a professional expert? Well, we write a book, we may get, get some education, and then they come out and they are the expert, right, in, in, in the world. They're the expert on this particular thing. But there's always a problem there because human beings themselves are filled with mistakes. At the end of the day, we're human being. We all have mental stuff going on, whether it's with our children or with our own self or something's happening in the seasons of our life. So when somebody comes out and says, I'm going to be an expert and I'm going to tell you what information is good and what information is bad, all of a sudden, I get worried. Like, that is a very scary thing. I mean, I think the last people that really did that and, and had some propaganda was in H Germany, right? It was Hitler, right? And that's what we're talking about. It's like, what is going on here? Who are the people? And that's what the key thing is for me, okay? I understand the idea of a disinformation. We want to make sure somebody doesn't yell fire in a crowded theater, right? That's the, the excuse. We want to make sure that doesn't happen. But at the end of the day, what are they really doing? What's really happening in the world, right, when it comes to this? Is it about freedom or is it about control? And I mean, I think we all logically understand that this is all about control. And at some level, there needs to be control. I mean, we got billions of people on this planet. And if there was anarchy, it would just go crazy. But I think instead of a disinformation, what is it called, DHS, Dif Disinformation Governance Board, what we should be teaching is critical thinking so that you can realize when somebody puts something out there, you realize that that's not real. I get it. There's wackos everywhere. There's all kinds of crazy information. I'm a rational human being that's done my bachelor's, my master's, and my PhD. I think I can check and see what is real and what isn't and make my own decision. I don't need some disinformation board deciding what is good and what isn't bad for me, and I think we're coming to a time in, in politically that, that's a big problem here. I mean, this is overstepping governance, right? This is not what it's about. The greatest things that occur come from diversity. They come from different thought process. And we have to be able to elevate our consciousness to be able to do that. But if our government is stepping in and deciding what can be out there and what can't be, that's a problem because we don't know who is making those decisions. And I go back to my original discussion as we talked about Twitter with Elon Musk. I know PhDs. And just because you have a PhD for Harvard or you have a PhD from Yale doesn't mean you're an expert. It just means you're educated. And that doesn't mean you have a right to determine what somebody is going to receive as far as information. In fact, it doesn't even make you a better person. I know many overeducated people that are not living very good lives, okay? And the truth is there's educated people that are living great lives. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And I like to say we're a spiritual being having a human experience. And we need to have the information coming to us. And when you start to cross the line and you start to say, I know more than you, that I'm going to say, who are you? 
What type of life do you live? Let's get into your skeletons. Let's see what is your agenda. And it's always this idea that, hey, there is no personal agenda behind it. I call BS on that. There's always a personal agenda. Always. Okay? There's very few people that are altruistic that live a spiritual life. So this is a very scary time. And I'm not saying be a Republican. I'm not saying be a Democrat. It's up to you. Like, I don't even like labels. I don't even, I think labels are ridiculous. I don't even like labels in food. When somebody says I'm a vegan or, you know, I'm a carnivore. Look, you just eat. I don't, I don't get it, right? I think labels are, are, are weakness. Get rid of the label, la- labels. Be a human being. Be somebody with critical thought. But one of the things that I think that we really need to do, Republican or Democrat, is fight for freedoms. And don't allow people that think they're intellectually superior or intellectually elite to dictate what you can or cannot hear. You have the ability to turn the channel. You don't need to watch this. You can turn it off if you're offended, but you don't have a right to turn it off, especially in this United States. That's what makes it great. Again, diverse thought is the key. Understanding and being able to have a rational conversation is the key. Part of the problem is the extremists on each side of this thing really have an issue and they don't have the ability to talk. But that doesn't mean you have the ability to shut down the information. We are all rational human beings. We understand you can't yell fire in, in, a, in, a, in a theater. I mean, it just it's common sense, right? I know common sense is waning in the world today. But when we start having governmental agencies being created to start to control information, what does that sound to you? What is that? Really scary stuff going on. And I think people need to open their eyes to recognize you can have an opinion. You can have a thought. But when somebody's stepping in and saying that thought is not appropriate, that's a problem. And that's not what we've been founded on. It's not what I believe in. I believe in letting people say their, their, what they're about and what they're passionate about and then hearing them out. Always been that way. But of course, you're saying, well, if somebody's doing crazy stuff, then this board is going to be able to handle them. Look, we've got law enforcement. We know what's happening out there. We have ways to handle those situations. We don't need a government agency coming in and canceling people. It's a very, very scary thing because when it starts, where does it stop? And that's when you start getting into propaganda. And it's, it's a scary time. So I think you need to wake up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we're going to have some fun. I'm going to be bringing you some comment, uh, commentary here because I have fun with this. We're going to discuss some of these ideas. We're going to have some fun on this channel as we continue to grow it. So as always, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this content. And let me know if you want more. And I'll hear from you in the comments. End of the video. Thank you. Hey, you can hit that subscribe button up there for more of this. Join this wonderful group of people that are rocking and rolling. And there's a video right here. If you want to watch more, you can check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.